Okay, so we will define Schwartz space. Okay, but before that, let's define a seminorm for each. Let's call B and beta and set integers, possibly integers, but uh, yeah, a pair of vectors. We will denote the seminorm in this way B beta. Is a seminorm. It will not. Uh, it will not have the first property of the norm, so it will be a seminorm, and will be defined as p beta the norm x p the x beta f norm infinity okay norm infinity so okay the uh, this p will represent the exponents of the if we are in rn then we have n different coordinates we have this factor b is the exponent of each of the coordinates and then the beta will be uh, for each of the derivatives of every coordinate okay so knowing this now we can define the Schwartz space we call it s r n will be the space of C infinity functions that decays at infinity Let's define it as five in C infinity R N, okay? So that the norm that we just defined B beta it, it it's less than infinity for any B and beta now B and beta integers as we said okay. integer vector of the of the of the Rn that has n components. Okay. So this will be the Schwartz space. Okay, so now we will define um, kind of null conventions for Schwartz space. Let uh, sequence of functions phi j included in the short space. Then, if phi j goes to zero as j goes to infinity. If for any pair B beta, as we said before, in the integers, positive integers to n, one has if we have five J B beta goes to zero as j goes to infinity okay so this is just a, a definition that when we have a sequence of functions phi j goes to zero when j goes to infinity it will, it will be one for any b beta one has that the norm phi j goes to zero as j goes to infinity 
Okay, a theorem that one can prove. I'm not going to do it, but um, the Fourier transform going from the short space to the short space is uh, an isomorphism. Okay, so there is another association between Fourier transform and short space. And one can go from the transform or the inverse in the same space. Okay, okay, and we will define um, temporary distribution. We will say that psi goes from S R N to C is temperate distribution of the psi I say this in the dual of the short space again. Okay? If psi is linear to psi is continuous, and that is to say, for any um, sequence of functions phi j. Okay, in S R N such that for J goes to zero, J goes to infinity, then um, psi. Of phi of j goes to zero as j goes to infinity. Okay, so one can check that any bounded function f, we have a, a function f, then we can define a distribution, a temperate distribution, psi of phi the following way doing the integral of Rn fx multiplied by psi x dx for any psi in the short space so and this psi, what it's doing is taking a psi in the short space, okay, and by multiplying by an f, and then integrating will give you, in this case, has to give you a complex number. So, one have to decide to choose a bounded function f to see if can define a temperate distribution psi of f. Okay, so a definition of, um, given a psi dual of uh, the short space it's Fourier transform psi transform of phi it will be definition psi of phi transform for any phi in the short space okay an important remark 
uh, suppose that f is in L1 of Rn and uh, phi is in Srn, okay? Um, so then, psi f phi will be equal to psi f phi. I forgot here the transform. Okay, so the transform of psi, you now because of this, it will be transform of phi, that will be equal, as we saw before, the integral rn of fx multiplied by phi transform x dx, okay? And this will be equal for a property that we used before to the transform of f multiplied by phi of x dx. And this means that this it is uh, psi f transform phi. Okay? So one can transform when you want to transform psi you can transform phi or you can transform f always with f is in a one and well psi in Schwarzbach space.